great to see so many people signing up to them. So today this webinar is on essay writer and is being delivered by Helen Louise Rowe. Welcome, Helen. Hello. Hi, Helen. Do you want to stick your camera on? Yeah. Um, hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Um, and just also to say that the, the session is being recorded, so if you probably best to make sure your camera is switched off and you, and just checking everyone's mics are switched off as well. So yeah, so Helen, thank you very much for, for offering to do this webinar for us. We're all looking forward to uh, hearing how this visual writing tool can support learners who perhaps struggle with planning and organisation. Um, we have my I have my colleague Robert uh, in the background here who's who is doing the recording of the session. So they say uh, after the session, you'll get the recording sent to you. So it'll be a great chance to go over some things again there. So the plan is for Helen to deliver content for about 20 minutes um, and then we'll have time for some questions at the end. But please do put your questions in the chat panel as uh, as we go up go along throughout the webinar and I'll be able to facilitate the question and answers uh, at the end. So without further ado, Helen, are you happy to share your screen and just get started? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Thank just you. Click on my share. Start this slideshow. Perfect. Thank you very much. Lovely. Can everyone see that? Is that coming through OK? Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's great. Brilliant. Lovely. So, yeah, without further ado, um, I will get started. So it's just a very, very quick um, sort of introduction and PowerPoint and um, that I'll go through for five minutes or so. And then after that, I'm going to jump onto the software itself and give you a, a live demonstration of sort of how quickly you can put together an essay um, in very loose terms because uh, it would be an example. Um, but just to give you an idea on how that software works and um, what you can kind of do with it uh, when it comes to essay writing. So the agenda is as follows. We're just going to do a quick overview. And uh, I've got a little list of how essay writer can help. Again, another list of um, overcoming barriers as well. So they're not exhaustive lists. There's many more things that essay writer can help with and barriers it can help overcome. But again, it was just things that are kind of the more commonly seen um, sort of barriers when it comes to essay writing and assignments, etc. Very quick demonstration. Um, and then uh, again, at the end, it'll just be any final thoughts or question and answer sort of session. So a very quick overview. I'll just give you all the information because I know some people do like to read from a screen um, others like it to be sort of uh, explained to them. So I give both options. Um, so the very quick overview of Essay Writer is it's mainly just a creative writing tool. Um, it's built to kind of encourage people's own writing skills while also making things more approachable. Um, more often than not, students get given assignments to write and they often overcome with a lot of worry and stress and anxiety, thinking it's a very, very big assignment that they need to do. Where on earth do they start? How do they even structure it? If they get feedback saying things need to be changed, um, how do they do that? Um, so it can be quite an overwhelming experience for students to have to go through. So the idea of essay writer is just to make that much more approachable, much nicer and kinder to go through. Um, we like to often mention about our unique split screen view as well. So you can actually view and restructure your mind maps whilst you're working on them. So you can see whenever you manipulate the map, you can see things moving around in the text view as well. So that can help people kind of link the two together so they can see exactly what the mind map looks like as an essay and how that may sort of interact. Um, we also have tools like referencing tools, paragraph structure and assistant, phrase banks, and um, we've got multimedia exportation, so you can um, export everything into PDF documents uh, as well. Um, essay writer can also be used as a presentation tool, so should anyone, you know, have a little bit of a sort of new approach to presentations rather than the usual uh, PowerPoint, they can use essay writer for that. It can help them with their timings um, and loads more organisational fe features, planning. Um, it's much more than just essay writing, even though that's our kind of main aim of the game. 
So how can it help? So again, this is just a very quick list that we'll put together with things that come up quite frequently. Um, as I said earlier, it's not exhaustive, um, but these are the areas that we're more likely to see. So it's helpful to develop organisational skills, improve the structuring of paragraphs as well as full documents. You can um, also use Essay Writer to support memory. So that's short term work in memory and long term memory. It reduces stress and anxiety, reduces any um, option of distractions. Oops, pressing buttons, my apologies. Um, it reduces distractions, encourages writing and development, and helps to break down information, aids visual learners, improves presentation time, and, and encourages referencing accuracy. And then press on to the next slide now. <laughs> Getting too eager. Um, so these are the areas then um, the barriers that essay writer can help individuals overcome. So if they do have those memory difficulties, slow processing speeds, overwhelming feelings I was just talking about, difficulty for concentration, struggling to understand questions, um, how research can actually become an assignment. So again, that goes back to that split screen view on how that mind map even looks like an essay. Um, referencing. Blank page difficulties, which links to those anxieties, struggle with expressing themselves and experiencing visual stress with full blocks of text. So you can sort of pull everything apart and make it much more visual and much more easier to understand. So I'm going to come out of this and show you a very quick live demonstration before we jump back in. So I've already opened up Essay Writer software and um, so this is a demonstration version. So I do apologise, it doesn't look exactly like um, the Essay Writer uh, homepage that other people will see. There's a lot more examples in this area here um, in the full version rather than the demonstration version. Um, but it gives you a bit of a flavour of um, Essay Writer. So without further ado, I'm going to start on a blank one and just show you exactly how quickly you can kind of all things together and, and get that information um, going. So I'm going to start up here with a blank map. So automatically I say, right, he says, right, OK, we need a title. We need something to start with. Um, so again, apologies, it's not going to be the best of examples, but I'm going to pick, I don't know, let's go for seasons. You know, we're Brits. We love to talk about the weather. So we've gone for seasons. So we click into the white space and it instantly gives us another idea. This is because we're instantly started on brainstorm mode. So that encourages you to keep thinking, you know, keep that sort of creative flow going. More often than not, um, Essay Writer is recommended for those of neurodiverse uh, backgrounds. They often are more creative. They have a lot of ideas floating around in the head and sometimes it can be quite overwhelming. So it's much better to just get all those ideas down. So. I will say seasons. We've got our winter season. If we press enter, because our brainstorm mode switched on, it just keeps us going. It keeps that flow going. Um, autumn. Whoops. The pressure of knowing I've been watched when I type. Um, and summer. So all we need to do to turn that off is you can just click it to turn it off, and it'll stop. So once you've got all those ideas out, um, you know you you can just stop it wherever. If you come back to it and you go, oh, I've remembered another one, you can just double click in the white space and then just put another one on there. Because there's no more seasons, I'm just going to use example for that one. So you can see how we've got all of our ideas and um, ideas, sorry, in that white space all coming together. However, essay writer is more than just get your ideas down, you know, get get sort of over that blank page and um, worry and concern. It can also be really good for organisation and structure. So we want to organise all of this now. So we've got all this lovely information. However, it's just a bit sporadic. It's splattered around. So now we need to say, OK, these are all seasons. We're going to connect them to our seasons. So there's three different ways you can do that. You can either highlight and create a link and just click. And kick that off. Or you can highlight this one and shift and click. Or you can drag and drop. So that's the thing with Essay Writer. There's a lot of different ways you can approach the same sort of area, as it were. So there's always more than one way that you can do something. So again, that links into individual differences. You know, if students prefer a certain way, if they're more, 
you know, prefer mouse use and not dragging a drop, or they prefer to use the hot peas. Um, occasionally, it can be sort of given to students with physical disabilities as well, so that student may not actually have the ability to move a mouse, so they will use the hot pea option. So that's why we like to give them plenty of options there. So now we've made our sort of organisation, we've made our links. So we've said, OK, our essay is on seasons and these are all of our seasons that we've thought of, plus an extra example that we thought of after. And it's all relative to that question. However, still doesn't really look like there's much information there, does it? So again, this is another sort of benefit of that visual tool. You can see exactly what information is, is floating around there and whether or not you need to add some more to it. So again, just for demonstration purposes, apologies, I'm just going to show you in numbers just very quickly. I'm going to brainstorm mode and just do a bit of a countdown so I can add these all on. So we want a little bit more, a little bit more information, a little bit more sort of substantial um, this to our work. essay. So this is where again we can just drag and drop and you can see how visually you can start to add all this different information into different areas and it doesn't have to obviously be um, in the same area as well. You can drag and add it to that. So if your information is relevant to the first paragraph, second paragraph, third paragraph, so on and so forth, it can be dragged and dropped and moved around. Thing with essay writing, you can manipulate it as well as you go. So that doesn't have to be the sort of solid setting. So a lot of the time those who work really well with mind mapping or spider diagram um, as it's otherwise known, they may have sort of hand drawn it. But then once they've hand drawn it and they go, oh, you know, that link needs to go there or that needs to move there. They then have to sort of erase it, rub it all out, move it around. Or they've got to redraw the full thing if they've done it in multicoloured pens. Good thing with SMI being digital, you can just manipulate it and move it. So you click that link. So I don't want that to be its own its own chapter, as it were. I'm just going to click delete because actually that's more relevant to this chapter. It's more of sort of should I say supporting information rather than its own chapter. And you can just move it around. So that is sort of the basics. Um, it is very, very quick because uh, I know I am conscious of uh, time and stuff as well. Um, but very, very quick way of how you can sort of have those creative juice go on, you know, create a little bit more of a map. You can go into more levels than just those levels as well. But again, just by visually looking at it and see exactly how much information and how much detail you've got into in that specific chapter and that specific area of the assignment. So looking at that doesn't make the students sort of fill with dread. It makes it a little bit more approachable. So although they've gone into three levels of detail in this section, for example, it doesn't look intimidating. It doesn't look so, so much, you know, um, to go into that much detail. So just along the toolbar here as well, just a couple of things I want to draw your attention to. So with SMIA, you can either leave things as they are. So as I've been dragging and dropping, you probably noticed that the idea has just kind of stuck where I've left it. So if I were to pick something up and just drop it, it stays put. So one thing that uh, students may not get along with is that feature. Some do love it because you can really pull things out and you know, separate them from the rest. So you can really focus on a particular area. You've got a zoom feature down the bottom here so you can zoom in and out. So if you really wanted to focus on one area in particular, that can be useful. However, if you've got a student who is a little bit more um, I don't know, organised, should I say, um, or they prefer something to look a bit more visually appealing. We've got our auto arrange feature there, which just pulls it all in together, makes it look very nice and neat, evenly spaced as well. So just one click and it'll pull it all into a bit of a neater um, scenario. We do also have a 3D view again. So if students are a little bit more visual um, and they prefer to look at things um, in a little bit more detail um, or something a bit different that can work in the 3D view as well. So we do also have um, up here as well where you can select everything, select all your ideas um, in one click or you can drag and drop. Again that's just the case of, of moving them around. 
So you might want to pop that one up there, that one down there. Again, it just leaves it where it is because I haven't got auto arrange clicked on. If I did, it would pop them all back into a nice evenly spaced. So sticking on this toolbar as well, I will just draw your attention to the presenter mode as well. So in the presentation uh, earlier, I said it can help with timing, uh, which is ironic because I know I'm always there quickly sort of speeding through my um, demonstrations when it comes to timing, but you can use it to um, to aid that. So with presenter mode, by default, you can just click on it and you can click through through each paragraph and it will just move itself around and create a bit more of a dynamic view. You can zoom in as well if you want to focus on that particular area. So we've not added any text just yet, but if we did have some text, which I will show you in a second, it will appear on the right hand side there as well. So you do have the option of visual as well as text um, when presenting. Now, the reason why I say it's good for timing is if we go into tools. And oops, clicked on the one on there, this one. If we go into tools and we go into presenter, you have an automatic set in there so you can use automatic mode so as i was clicking through and it was spinning through those different areas what it can do if you tick this on it will after 30 seconds move you on to that next sort of idea that next chapter and um, the next slide as it were um, and you can then visually see okay i need to move on to that next slide so it's a good little tool to to practice as well so even if students are using PowerPoint, they can use Essay Writer for that as well. As you can see, it's not just Essay Writing that uh, we support. So going back to our Essay Writing, which is our main feature, just like to show you the extra things that we can do. Um, down the bottom here, we've got our sort of split screen view, which is our unique view. This is what we like to show people, because again, you can see visually where things are. So number one is spring. That's our first paragraph. And then number two is autumn and so on and so forth. However, we know it goes spring, summer, autumn and winter. So summer shouldn't be paragraph number four. That doesn't work. We're going to move that across so we can see now summer's number two because it goes in a clockwise rotation following after spring. So again, you can auto arrange if you want things a little bit neater. Um, I am a little bit of a neat week, so that's why I do like to show that feature. Um, while we're in the text view here as well, uh, this is where you can just add your text. Um, so I can put... Or whatever you want to type in there, and you can just see how visually on the right hand side, this is what then becomes your essay. So you can see exactly how that transpires into this. This is another feature that I like to show to develop writing as well. It's our highlight structuring feature. So we when you click on that, the idea behind it is it highlights this sentence. So you can see the beginning, the middle and the end. So if I didn't have an end on there, you could see, you know, it's gone. The, you've got a beginning, you've got a last section, but where's the middle? There's nothing else. You know, there's nothing else added there. There's no, there's no, you know, substantial um, information there. However, if you put the end, the end paragraph goes, OK, this isn't the end of that paragraph. This is the information you just needed to complete it and you needed to finish it off. So it gives you a bit of a bit of a kind of developing tool to develop your own writing skills rather than have something do it for you. Same with our phrase bank as well. So I'm just going to pop these on. There they are. So if students are struggling to introduce work, for example, they'll just click through, you know, I'm struggling to introduce things. I'm going to have this one and they can just drag and drop. So it's all about prompting um, and kind of guiding in that area. So again, if they if they've had feedback that they need to be a bit more critical, you know, why do they need to be a bit more critical? How? So they can drag things in to just help them get started. 
So the last thing I will show you, because I'm aware of the time um, and I'm sure in the question and answers, if anyone's got anything else and they want to ask about the software, I'm sure I'll be able to answer that. Um, also got loads of things um, on our sort of YouTube page and stuff as well. So if there's anything that anyone's interested in and they want a bit more information on, they can ask me um, or they can have a little look through there as well. But I will show you the referencing tool because that is a huge thing in essay writing. Um, so we do have references where we can add them ourselves. So you can just add a bibliography, put my teeth in, add a bibliographical reference, still can't say it, I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> um, and you just pick what it is, um, what it is that they want to reference. Is it a book, is it an article? We've got websites down there, web pages, because that's quite a common um, occurrence now. And it kind of changes the areas that you need in that reference. So if it's a report, you'll see down here, it does change what you need. So it just prompts the student to then fill in that information. They'll only have to have to fill that information in once. Once they've filled that in, I know mine's a blank one, but once they've filled it in, it does appear in that uh, mind map for you. So again, they can visually see it's all coming together now. All my references are there. If they were using um, the internet, for example, this is where I always go to my lovely dummy text. So if they'd done some research online and they went, oh, that's a really good, really good piece of information. I want to reference that. It would just be a simple copy and paste. So I've highlighted what I want. I've clicked copy. And when I paste it into the text area, Essay Writer has this automatic function where it says, do you want it as a reference? You say, of course I do. Yes. You click yes. Um, at the moment, it's defaulted at an index referencing, but you can change that in the document settings for Harvard and um, the likes of APA and things like that are coming too. Um, and it just does it for you. Also, adds a little reference table at the bottom. So again, you can visually see, you know, references usually are the things that wrap up, um, wrap up the essay. One final thing um, that I will show you as well, we'll go back to that map is when it comes to research, of course, you know, there's areas we need to get our information from, whether that's, you know, to reference or just for research purposes. You can add hyperlinks to web pages, to files, emails even, if the, if the students had any sort of meetings with their tutor and they've had some really good response and they want to keep that all in one area. Um, I'm just going to pop good old Google on there and it's going to be my web page. Okay. And then that can either sit in the white space or again, you can add it to. So some students like to have a bit of a both approach in this and they'll have the essay and then you know, research on the side. And to launch it, they would just double click and it will launch the Google page. So it can take them directly to anywhere they've had their research on there and that is the basic because um, you know, I'm running out of time here um, and I would much prefer you to get your question and answers in and um, there's obviously so much more that essay writer does Um it's an awful lot of tools and access bars and um, camera tools presenter tools Zotero is our referencing tool as well and um, there's so so much more that essay writer does and um, but yeah, I would rather you do your question and answers. Um, so I will stop sharing my screen so we can jump onto that. Um, but hopefully that has given you a bit of a, a bare bones of the software. Well, that is excellent. Thank you so much, Helen, for that. I know certainly work with a lot of pupils where uh, you know, when it, well, they just freeze when they come to write an essay and, you know, they're very able orally, but really putting mm -hmm. anything down is they find it difficult to organise their thoughts and and get started. So essay writer is absolutely perfect for that. Um, I'm just going to go to the chat panel just now because there are a few questions in. Okay. Uh, somebody uh, is asking, uh, how much does it cost? So it does vary and um, we offer uh, this through the DSA at the moment and I believe it's 129 for a three year license and 149 for a perpetual license. So it depends on if they want it just for their course or if they really like the software and they want it indefinitely, it's just shy of £150. And just to confirm, is it a piece of software or an online web tool? 
So I'm pleased you asked that. Um, right. At the moment, it is a piece of software, so it is downloading. However, we do have a new update. And um, so this is groundbreaking news I'm giving you all. Um, we do have a new update, which is due by the end of the year. We are going web based. So it'll um, go on to any device. So if students have iPads, phones, you know, anything like that, they'll be able to use it across the devices and just log in using an email. We're still going to keep the software and we're still keeping the download so people have the option. Um, but yeah, it just means it's going to be, they're going to be able to have it on the go all the time. So if they have an idea when they're in the middle of the canteen and lunch, they can jump on the phone, quickly add it to the map and then they can come back to it later as well. Well, that'd be great to have that versatility to to work across different devices. Um, a question uh, from uh, Marika from Dubai. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, she's just saying uh, she had a number of fellow students who came on to a master's program with no assignment experience, and this would have helped them a lot. So that's a nice yeah. uh, comment there. Uh, Miss Cameron's asking: Is this or is it possible to use speech to text? So I ex expect when you're filling in the little uh, mm -hmm. icons, are you able to use voice recognition? Yes, you can. Yes. So um, the speech to text at the moment is a little bit buggy. Um, but again, in the new update that has come in in the coming months, um, we're actually working alongside uh, the likes of Dragon and things like that to make it much more seamless. Um, so at the moment, I think um, when you click in, in it with Dragon, it pops up like a a dictation box and you've got to click transfer and then transfer it in rather than it being seamless but it does work and um, but yeah the the new feature the developers bless them uh working very hard on getting that seamless rather than having to then click the transfer box in but it does work uh, good yes and and also prediction or spell checking when trying to type in yeah yeah, all that's there. Um, prediction, we don't have there at the moment, but spell check is there. And um, we have grammar checks and stuff as well. And um, they're all part of the, the toolbar feature when you click in the text area. It's along the top. It looks very similar to your word and um, spell checker and things like that as well. So easy right. to access. Good, because all these tools are really, really Im assistive tools are important for, mm -hmm. for the pupils with additional support needs. Um, a question from Angela Nunn asking, does SQA allow pupils to use this for exams? Oh, that is the first I've been asked that. I'm not sure. And um, I think that we've always had it recommended through the DSA market as an assignment writing tool and um, for coursework um, needs. However, I think that would it's something that, you know, as long as the exam boards are happy with um, they probably can. Uh, but I wouldn't want to say yes or no on that matter. <laughs> no, we'll have to check that one out like it, like yeah. any assistive technology used in examinations or assessments. It should just be the way then the normal way of working for the pupil. Um, so if they were using mind mapping software like Essay Writer um, in day to day, then um, we would like to think it would be allowed in a, an examination yeah. assessment, but we'll have to get that confirmed yeah. there. Uh, Mr. Ferguson's asking, can you quickly explain the narration function? Yeah, so that is very similar to your text to speech tool. Um, so we do have an inbuilt tool in there. Obviously, we know there's other ones on the market um, which are much better. Um, but a lot of the features with Essay Writer is feedback that we've got from the students and users themselves or from DSA assessors, technical trainers. And there was a couple of people who said um, students had had Essay Writer, but they didn't have the likes of, you know, your text help and Claro and things like that. So it is very basic, uh, our narrator, but it was just to overcome that barrier if they didn't have you know other other means of text to speech so it, it does exactly that you click narrate and it will read the text to you would it read the text out so for example perhaps in the phrase banks where you're choosing yep. a choice of phrases it will read that out because that, yep. that was a really good feature just again for providing that impetus to get started with a with a yeah. you know just starting off it's good to have some uh, starting phrases to get to get Absolutely. to get going with so yeah any yeah. other questions from anyone i know that you do a free trial as well helen yes we yeah. do yes so um it used to be seven day but um again i work very close with the developers um with essay writer as well and i always ask for more and they probably hate me because every time i do things like this i get good ideas to take back to them and um, so we're now offering um up to a 30 day free trial as well to give people a little bit longer uh to test the, the software and, and get used to it um, 
but yeah if yeah. there's anything anyone you know has sort of suggestion wise as well we're definitely open to taking that on and I can feed that back to developers you know a lot of like I said a lot of the features are because of people asking you know can it do this and can it do this and um, so we sort of mold it to what the people want Oh, that's that's great. And, and you know, seven day trial in a school is nobody even gets started with it. So <laughs> it's good to hear that it's uh, 30 days. Uh, that's much more realistic. So um, so if, if anybody wants to get in contact with you to would they just go to your website or do you yes, want to so put your if, email address into the, into um, the, chat, into the chat? Yeah, I will do that. The chat I've just got a white box at the chat at the moment so it's it's thinking about it <laughs> okay um that's that's great and get some thank yous in there as well I'm just going to quickly share my screen at the moment just to uh, flag up a course that we're going to be running starting in October and it's a five-week course uh, focusing on technology to support dyslexia in education and, and actually in week four uh, one of the the things we're going to be uh, looking at is um assistive technology to support organisation and that's where SE Writer would fit in perfectly and um, if anyone's interested in uh, having a look at this course which is a new one for us I'll just put that link into the chat panel as well so just a little bit of promotion of uh, uh, one of our new courses and, and similarly we have a, a whole other range of uh, professional learning on offer um, and just to flag up next week uh, we have our webinar which is going to be on iFixit apps um, I think I've got a little picture here I can just put up to show you um, it's going to be um, by Callum Murray of iFixit app so that's next uh, actually I see here that is actually the webinar but there is a change of date there so Apologies for that. It actually is happening on the 7th of September. Um, and this is a, a tool to support inclusion, giving learners a voice to express themselves and a way to engage with learning. Um, and that webinar will be hosted by our specialist speech and language therapist, Gillian McNeil. So it'll be a really good one to sign up to. Uh, just a big thank you to Helen for, for doing your demonstration today and, uh, and to everyone that's that's logged in. I hope it's been helpful, a good one to start off our new schedule. Um, uh, you will be sent a recording of it um, and please share it, share it with any of your colleagues and, and do have a look at our website because all our, our, our webinars are archived and you can go back and look at any, any number of the other ones there. Um, it's a great sort of quick half hour professional learning. So thanks again to Helen and thanks to Robert uh, for uh, technical support and recording and to everyone have a good rest of the day and good evening. Thank you very much.